guys what's going on my name is Luis and God bless every single one of you today is August 14 2023 and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel all right guys so we have some breaking news updates some very important information coming out if you can please share this video and it says here another wildfire this time in Louisiana so you're looking at what they're calling a massive wildfire in Sabine Paris Louisiana Resident asked to evacuate immediately. Get out of Dodge. Cause unknown at this time. And there is 0% containment. I want to show you something really quick here, guys. This has been going on for the past three days. 45 wildfires across Louisiana. And it's getting worse. All right. So we are seeing that the sleeping giant is on fire on fire let me just read this really quick here sabine paris louisiana multiple fire crews responded to the scene of a large wood fire in sabine paris on monday afternoon august 14. now the sheriff's office says around 2 15 p.m crews responded to some woods near carlyville road in mount carmel area residents in the area should take precautions and be prepared to potentially evacuate, the sheriff's office warns. Around 4.45 p.m., residents in the Plain View community were urged to evacuate. The sheriff's office says the fire is traveling southeast from the Mount Carmel Cutoff Road and Louisiana Highway 118 area. Now, the sheriff's office says this is a dangerous developing situation people are asked to avoid the area several uncontained fires have been reported residents in the following area should take evacuate immediately mm -mm -mm. i just posted a video about oregon that's out of control they just declared level three leave now what in the world is going on in the sleeping giant what in the world is going on inside this sleeping giant land? Look at the video. It, guys, it feels like someone just, I'm not going to say much. It started in that spot. It's, man, ooh. <laughs> Give me a second here. Um, so many things I want to say. OMG. Man, follow me on Patreon. Follow me on Patreon. Um, I get to say things I, you know, I can't say here in this, you know, what. But uh, yeah, it started right there. Yikes. Hmm. And guys, I just posted a video not too long ago. If you guys want to check out the uh, nation against nation of biblical war going on, this link would be in the comments box. The bear has deployed 16, not 13, but 16 TU-95 bombers. And one TU-160M heavy bombs are currently airborne over Western Bear and heading to their launch zones. Something big is coming tonight. Uh, over at the yellow and blue country. We are talking about 16 bombers in the air right now Also, uh, I do have some more information. Uh, okay. This is the same story here guys These are the planes that's heading to crane right now uh, Very 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 powerful plane. They are loaded uh, 16 are heading there right now uh, Also guys look out This just happened in the Holy Land huge explosion report in North of Tel Aviv. This is going to be my next video. It's going to be over at the Real GS News. That is a massive explosion. All right. So it's a busy day for me. Uh, I have to go to the gym, but uh, it seems like I'm going to go a little bit late because there's so much news coming out. I mean, we are seeing so many events happening today. All right. So it says here Mount Carmel Cutoff Road and Louisiana Highway 118 area. The sheriff's office says this is a dangerous developing situation. People are asked to avoid the area. Several uncontained fires have been reported. 
Residents in the following area should evacuate immediately. Now these are these are very important locations. You got Mount Carmel, Cutoff Road, Monroe, Skinner Road, Lee Jordan Road, and then you have all these other areas too. Plain View Area, Sneed Road, Carleyville Road. LA 118 is currently closed. Expect for emergency traffic only. This comes on the heels of Gov John Bell Edwards declaring a state of emergency due to the extreme heat and dry condition the state has been experiencing the past few weeks. The entire state is currently under a burn ban. Someone made a good point. Why are we only seeing this in the Sleeping Giant? How come it's not happening in Asia or you know all those other lands? Why the Sleeping Giant is the only one that gets to see UFO? Why is the Sleeping Giant the only one that's seeing all this? Well, don't get me wrong, guys. There's other parts of the world that's seeing a lot of this stuff. But man, 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 what is going on in the Sleeping Giant? Let's read the comments. Someone said this is not a massive wildfire. See, here's the problem is that a lot of people don't take this serious. This thing is going to spread. You do realize how quick, uh, there you go. Thank you. Uh, well, you know, the swear words, it's not necessary. Unbelievable. I do have an article here. I want to read this one though. 45 wildfire across Louisiana in three days. State of emergency evacuation has been ordered for certain areas. So this is where we are right now. Two separate wildfires, one in Washington Parish and one in Tagapoyo, uh, I truly apologize about the word, uh, Paris are both suspected arson. Now, Louisiana Department of Agriculture and Forestry agents are weighing in on the dangers and they discuss fines for setting these fires. Are you serious? It gets out in the grass and it will overturn you. You aren't going to be able to stop it. Then it becomes a wildfire. You have this person here with Louisiana Department of Agriculture and Forestry said across Louisiana from Friday to Sunday, there had been 45 fires with 607 acres burned. And since August 1st, there's been 166 fires and 1,800 acres burned. Obviously, the dry weather hasn't helped. If you look at the weather patterns across the state, there's very little chance of rain all the way until the end of the month. And I told you guys where I live at in the state of Florida, oh, we got some rain today. And it's about time because my backyard is looking, you know, the grass is not green. It's brown, which means dry weather. But we did get some rain and it seems like the grass is growing, which is a good thing. So it says here, um, suspected, I'm gonna skip the name here, guys, because of the platform. Suspected, you know who, are also believed to be the cause of these two events, of these recent events. One in Washington, Parish, at a camp site where Louisiana agricultural agents cuffed a 34 year old. Look at that. The other blaze in this region. Now, I'm gonna skip, uh, skip some of these names. Once again, near Highway 1056 is still being investigated. Look at that, guys. People are getting cuffed for starting some of this. You know what? Mm hmm. Yep. Like I say, just follow me on Patreon. And, um, you know, it's a dollar a month, one dollar a month. And I will make a video tomorrow towards, you know, the situation going on here. So it's 
It's really sad that this is what's happening to the sleeping giant. They cuffing many. And I just posted a video earlier today that they finding stuff on the on the train tracks that's causing all the you know what. Alright, so depending on whether or not it was intentional or you know what, then that's how it's dealt. With so uh with so we make the changes, or excuse me, charges. Then it goes to the district attorney office, this person said. When burn bans are in effect like they are now, lawlessness with the civil uh, senate, uh, sanitation. I truly apologize, guys. Give me a second here. I got the ring light bright in my face. Uh, citations must pay up to $250 in fines. It is a criminal. Um, the viola uh, violator could face a $500 fine and our up to six months in jail. That doesn't include... Uh, restitution for loss of property. If you look at the fire in Washington, Paris, there's more than $350,000 in damages. So there, the judges would order restitution. While most uh, interstate fires start by cigarette butts or metal sparking off trucks, crop farmers need to be extra careful that they're Machinery doesn't let off spark. Now, this area is notorious when it comes to, you know, lighting up and all that type of stuff. They, they have laws uh, when it comes towards that. But this is the first, actually, this is not the first time because I remember talking about the wildfire going on in Louisiana. I think it was like three, four years ago. And there were some people camping and supposedly they... They wasn't following the, the law and they're not supposed to be doing that type of stuff and cause a fire. Um, now, let's go with the next one. So there's been some people cuffed uh, when it comes to uh, Washington Parish and the other location. Now we have this one here. We have this one here. This is this is another wildfire going on. Now, this is the big one here. Sabine Parish Sheriff's Office um, said that residents near Forest. Jeez, there's so many advertisements in this one, guys. I truly apologize. Residents near Forest fires should be prepared to evacuate. So it says here the Sabine Parish Sheriff Office is warning residents to evacuate due to forest fire in the Mount Carmel community. Authorities said multiple fire departments are on the scene of a forest fire along with the Louisiana Department of Forestry and Agriculture. The fire reportedly broke out around 2.14 p.m. near uh, Coileyville Road. Officials are asking residents in the area to e evacuate residents in the plain view community are urged to evacuate the area the fire is traveling southeast on the mount carmel cutoff and highway 188 area this is a dangerous situation please avoid the area mm. They have more pictures. Yes, they do. Give me a second here, guys. Let me show you some of these pictures. Now, here's the problem. This thing could spread really fast. And it's happening near dry, dry, dry grass. Let me take a screenshot of this picture right here, guys. Give me one second. It seems like someone just parked their vehicle and took a picture of it. Uh, it'd be nice if there was a drone footage and see uh, how big is this fire. But I do believe this thing is going to grow. Structures and homes near this area cut off and surrounding areas are in danger. The SPSO says there are several uncontained wildfires 
in the parish at the time, the most severe of which is west of Florine and spreading south. Here's the, uh, okay, I already read this part on Twitter. And this is what we read, the first article. The burn ban. Now, can this be because people smoking cigarettes? I mean, yeah, there's a possibility. Camping, yeah. Um, but uh, again, with all the stuff going on nowadays, with all the fire, yeah, it's hard to believe that, you know, all this because someone flicked the cigarette butt and caused all the uh, events. Once again, the governor uh, has declared a state of emergency for all of Louisiana. All Louisiana parishes are currently under a burn ban. And this is where we are right now. Hmm. It's not looking good. I'm gonna take you back on Twitter. I want to show you some of these stuff here. Uh, I'm just looking to see if there's any more information, guys. Look at this one. We are starting to see fires pop up around Louisiana. Now, 45, I already gave you the number. From the heat, we have a burn advisory in place. At Wednesday, uh, I plan to ask all utilities about those plans to reduce fire at risk. What? Why a utility faces scrutiny for not cutting power to reduce fire risk? This is like almost California. They blame the PG&E. Uh, that's a power company and they got sued really bad. All right, so it seems like all this is just the same, guys. All right, so this is where we are right now. Louisiana is on the list. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please share the video. Please, uh, to those in Louisiana, prepare yourself spiritually, physically, and mentally. Make sure you follow governor order. Uh, again, give me a second here, guys. Yikes. All right, there we go. It was, it was a uh, buffering really bad. Uh, make sure you follow your um, governor orders when it comes to uh, evacuation. If he's telling you to leave, uh, listen and leave. I mean, the situation going on in, in Hawaii should be a big, big wake up call for many sleeping giant who's going through the same situation with the wildfire. Don't play with fire. Again, uh, this thing could spread really, really quick. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, guys, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Give a like to Jesus Christ and get baptized. We are living in tough time. Till next time later. Peace.